Do you ever wonder about the legacy of your last name? Find out at lastname.com. Get a historically accurate 1800 word history of your last name and a full color coat of arms print. Perfect for framing, these archival quality prints are destined to become family heirlooms. To see if we have one for your last name, call 1-800-746-1615 or visit us at lastname.com. There's nine different reasons that this ball is going to change direction. Nine different ways that it's going to go. The idea here is to get the club face square. Now, to get the club face square, you have to start with grip, okay? To have a good grip, you want to focus on most of the grip is actually just in your fingers. It's not actually in my palms. And then you just wrap your hands around, okay? Now, by doing that, you actually set your arms up to a certain position. And from your arms being in a certain position, it actually sets up the rest of your body to a position. And that's the translation from the basically the club to the ground, okay? The club through your body to the ground. And once you do that, it makes you want to swing correctly. If you have a, a, a messed up grip and maybe it's a little too strong, which means it's rotated back away from your target, or it's a little too weak, what basically you're going to be doing is changing the direction that your arms are and the position of your arms. And it's not going to make you want to swing straight down through toward your target path. It's not going to allow you to, to square up the club face and get it perfectly perpendicular toward your target. So once you start with a good grip and you get good posture, of course, maintaining a very straight spine, <clears throat> almost pushing your bottom out and just maintain this. There's other ways you can check it. You can put a club back here, make sure that it touches the whole way back and it shows that you have good posture. You wanna have a straight spine because you wanna swing around it, okay? If your spine's curved, suddenly you're putting these other movements into your swing that you do not want. Here, a very important thing, like I said, holding that finish, think about what it might do. By holding your finish, not only are you elongating the swing, but when you hold it, see how I kind of fell off my back foot? Actually sped up so much up here and held my finish, it's gonna teach me things. If you don't ever hold your finish and you just walk up and hit the ball, you're not gonna have any idea where your weight was at the end of the swing or where the club head was. But as soon as I hold that finish, If I hold my finish, as you can see, I felt like my body was pointed this direction after the shot. If it was pointed like this, the ball probably would have gone straight, but it wasn't. Now, I don't want you thinking so much to try and come up with the, the reasons why the ball is going left and right. I'd rather just have you focus on a little pre-shot routine, a good, long, slow practice swing, and then hold your finish. And it's as simple as that.